this will be the biggest challenge for us because our utmost priority will be economical growth and we will not be able to develop in a proper way our economy if there is no decisive battle against uh, criminal corruption. There is huge alliance between some political elites, prosecutors, judges and business elites. And uh, we have to break this alliance if we want to develop our country and if we want to bring justice uh, as should be. Otherwise, we will feel as well like all our predecessors. And we will be defeated. When you have a problem, you have to find a solution for that problem. If we do survey now, what will be the utmost problem in our country? Probably the first one will be economy, the second one will be fight against criminal corruption, which is third. Citizens desperately need some change in this regard. So we have now again status quo, but we will continue our fight in order to bring justice. Justice will bring hope. Those two pillars are coming jointly together. What are our three priorities as a government? In terms of economical growth and uh, logistical approach. First one is energy sovereignty. We are energy dependent. We import electricity, we import oil, we import gas. But uh, my personal milestone and the uh, milestone of uh, this new Macedonian government is to make country energy independent in terms of electricity. The first foreign direct investment that we announced was uh, in the field of electricity, in the field of energy. We are talking about half billion US dollar investment, new wind farm, which will produce approximately 20 percent of our consumption portfolio and this is something that is step forward toward uh, energy uh, autonomy, uh, energy sovereignty. My country is the, the biggest donor practically. Uh, Macedonian government and Macedonian parliament voted in a favor of huge amount of donations for Ukraine and we are among the top five suppliers, donators per capita. We are not that big and rich country, but we are doing our efforts in order to support Ukrainian Ukrainians to defend their territorial sovereignty and to fight against, against Russian aggression. Uh, what is occurring in Ukraine is something that is a threat for the humanity at all. We will be able to start our negotiations if we bring a couple of hundred of our citizens in our preamble, which claim that are a part of Bulgarian community in the country. But whether this is the last, who can guarantee us that this is the last? Okay, we don't have an answer on that question. Which institution in Europe is in charge to judge whether someone rights has been violated? We're talking about Strasbourg Human Rights Court. <coughs> we have 14 decisions from Strasbourg Human Rights Court saying that human rights of Macedonian community in Bulgaria being valid or restricted or sort of way, and zero for Bulgarian community in the country. There is a logical question, which rights can be violated and what is the need of such a step?